Meet Belva Ann Lockwood, trailblazer, fighter, and the second woman to officially run for President of the United States. Born on October 24, 1830, in Royalton, New York, Belva wasn't one to let the world tell her no. By 14, she was already teaching at her local school. At 18, she married Uriah McNall, a farmer, and soon welcomed their daughter, Lura. But when Uriah died of tuberculosis in 1853, Belva faced a choice, settle for less or rise. She chose to rise. Widowed and fierce, Belva knew education was her ticket. She fought her way into Genesee Wesleyan Seminary, then Genesee College, ignoring the gasps of friends who thought a woman, let alone a widow, had no business there. It was in college she discovered her passion, the law. Fast forward to 1879. She smashed barriers as the first woman admitted to practice before the U.S. Supreme Court. But Belva didn't stop there. In 1884 and 1888, she ran for president with the National Equal Rights Party, landing on ballots when women couldn't even vote. Victoria Woodhull ran earlier, but Belva? She made it official. She championed equal pay as a teacher, pushed for world peace, and backed temperance. Belva Ann Lockwood, lawyer, educator, politician, lived her truth until May 19, 1917, proving one woman's grit can rewrite history. Belva Lockwood, a name that echoes courage. What's your next bold move? Like and subscribe to Brooklyn Institute of Technology as we educate the next generation of micro-learners